<laughs> okay, the MCU is a little bit topsy-turvy right now. How have we still not seen Black Widow? Now, some people may have been freaking out. I want to watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier! Now, we at CBR, however, have been pretty chill about it. I mean, occasionally, we talk about how The Eternals was supposed to be before Shang-Chi and how that ruins literally everything! See? Super chill. Okay, so let's take a time machine back 35 years to the year 2019. At that point, the MCU schedule looked like this. Black Widow was supposed to come out on May 1st. The Eternals was supposed to come out on November 6th. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings was supposed to come out on February 12th, 2021. Unfortunately, most movies that were supposed to come out were delayed because 2020 ended up being the absolute worst. Yeah, seriously, 2020 has been the Thor the Dark World of years. So, now the MCU schedule looks like this. Black Widow will come out at some point. The Eternals will come out eventually. And Shang-Chi will come out before 2030, we think. Seriously though, as bleak as the Hollywood cycle has been throughout 2020, there is some good news. Shang-Chi actually managed to finish filming despite everything. Don't give me hope. Director Destin Daniel Cretton posted a picture with Shang-Chi himself, Simu Liu, stating that filming had wrapped. Liu will be joined in the MCU martial arts movie by Michelle Yeoh, Aquafina, and the Grandmaster himself, Tony Chu Wei Lung, as the Mandarin. The real Mandarin this time. For those that don't know, Shang-Chi is a martial artist superhero who takes a lot of inspiration from the kung fu movies of the 1960s. After discovering that his father, who trained him to be a fighter, was evil, he turned against him and became a force for good. Sweet, roundhouse kicking good. He has appeared many times over the years, often teaming up with the likes of Iron Fist, Luke Cage, and the Avengers. The film looks to be replacing the, uh, dated character, who was originally Shang-Chi's father, with Iron Man's arch nemesis from the comics, the Mandarin. This villain uses ten mysterious rings taken from a crashed spaceship to plague Iron Man and the world. While this film no doubt looks amazing, the change in schedule might cause some problems for the MCU. So, by this point, we should all know about the Eternals. There should have been several trailers, a Comic-Con panel, and a ton of hype for this film. Unfortunately, we have literally none of that. Instead, I'll just uh, cut together some bits with Kit Harington and Richard Madden from Game of Thrones, with Angelina Jolie from Maleficent, and Kumail Nanjiani from Stuber. See? <laughs> it's basically the same as the Eternals, except much, much worse. This movie was supposed to be about an ancient race of beings created by the Celestials seen in Guardians of the Galaxy, who become superheroes and fight against the evil Deviants. It also may have gone into Thanos' origins, as he has the Deviant gene in the comics. By all accounts, it seemed like a big sci-fi spectacle that would have been a worthy follow-up to Endgame. Kumail Nanjiani's abs alone are enough to make the world forget about Iron Man's demise for a little while. This movie looked like it was going to be huge for Phase 4, possibly even setting up a bunch of new movies and threats. I mean, just look at this action figure depicting the possible main villain, Crow. Isn't that just straight-up nightmare fuel? The rumor is that Crow is being voiced by Keanu Reeves, too, if you weren't excited enough. Judging by how the MCU was left off after several alien invasions, the destruction of half of all life, and then the return of said life five years later, it's likely that a new alien threat would make quite the difference in the MCU. Ultron and Loki both caused major issues for the MCU long term, so it's likely the Deviants would as well. So how will Shang-Chi fare in a world where this was supposed to have happened already? Well, there are a few ways that Shang-Chi could handle this. For starters, what with the film set in China, it's possible that the events of the Eternals might not affect Shang-Chi's adventures too much. For whatever reason, alien invasions tend to focus on the West Coast in the MCU. The only MCU moment to happen in China was erased because Doctor Strange used a time stone to fix all that Dormammu that was spilled all over Hong Kong. Shang-Chi could also follow in the footsteps of Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Captain Marvel, and Ant-Man and the Wasp by appearing outside of chronological order. Like, imagine if Iron Man 3 came out before the Avengers and Tony Stark's PTSD about the Battle of New York just hyped you up about how intense it was gonna be. It's also kind of like the long-running Budapest inside joke between Hawkeye and Black Widow that I'm pretty sure we're never gonna see. It might be cool to connect the Ten Rings to the Eternals in some way. 
Perhaps in the MCU, the Ten Rings were used by the Deviants as a power source. That could make them sort of like the Tesseract, which has bounced around several Marvel movies as the franchise's favorite MacGuffin. Ultimately though, I don't think there's any need to worry. It's been a long road, but before too long, we will all safely be in a movie theater where we will get to watch each and every one of these MCU movies. And I can't wait. Well, there you have it. All the problems that could arise from Shang-Chi preceding the Eternals. What do you guys think will happen with the films? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to CBR.